Hi everyone, and welcome to my backyard. My name is Lindsay, and today we are going to be working on a craft. For this activity, you are going to need any type of coloring utensils, any colors. I'm using pencils and markers, but you could also definitely use crayons or paint if you want to get messy. These are my preferences, so I'm using these two. Um, besides coloring utensils, you are also going to need at least two pieces of white paper. I'm just using computer paper. It could also be white construction paper. White computer paper, two pieces, one piece of blue construction paper, one piece of green construction paper, and you should also have one piece of brown construction paper. I don't have construction paper in my house right now, not brown anyways. Um, so what I have is some paper that I found in my garage recycling. I think it's packing paper, um, but I'm going to recycle this and use it for our project today. If you have brown construction paper, you can obviously use that or you can use any brown paper that you can find. I'll be using this. Uh, on top of those supplies, you are also definitely going to need a pair of scissors and some glue. So get ready, so our project starts now. So as I was thinking about these craft activities um, that we would all do together, I was thinking about bringing camp into our homes because for me, summer is a place for camp right summer is the time of year that i go to camp and i spend a lot of time outside and i see all my friends and i do all these cool activities and camp is a really special place for me and i'm sure that's true for a lot of you if you're returners and if you're new this year camp is a really special place and i hope that you experience that this summer so since camp um isn't happening in person and we're all doing it virtually i thought it would be really fun to build our own camps so that we have camp inside our houses so the way we're going to do that today is we are going to build 3D dioramas of camp. What is a diorama? So a di diorama is a 3D model of a scene. So you can choose any camp scene. Um, and our goal today is going to be to create our dream camps. So I'm not asking you to build Camp Morty or build another camp that you've already been to. I want you to think about your dream camp. So let's think. I'm sitting outside. For me, a dream camp is outside, right? Maybe for some of you, a dream camp is inside a school or maybe it's on a college campus. Maybe you've been to a camp like that. I went to a camp like that when I was a kid. I went to a music camp on a college campus and that was a lot of fun. But the camp that I'm making today is an outside camp. So think about your location. Where are you located? Okay, once you have a location, once you decide if you're outside or inside or in the middle of an ocean or on an island, whatever your dream camp location is, once you have a setting, I want you to think about what you would do at that dream camp. What activities are your favorite things that you wanna make sure all of the campers get to do? For example, maybe your dream camp has a lake, right? So that everybody can take swim lessons. Or maybe your dream camp has a pool. You don't want a lake, you want a pool or maybe it has a pond for fishing, right? So let's think of bodies of water that you might wanna have, or maybe you don't want a body of water at all. That's also fine. So we're thinking about the things we wanna do. Maybe there's some type of water involved. What other activities do we want? Do we want to be spending a lot of time outside? Are the kids gonna go hiking? Are the campers gonna be outside building survival forts out of sticks? Maybe there are no trees at all and it's just a big clear field all for sports. So we're thinking about activities. Are they playing sports? Are there basketball hoops? Does your dream camp have a dining hall? Or is everybody eating outside all the time even when it rains? Maybe there's a dining hall. Do the campers live in cabins? Do they live in yurts? Do they sleep under the stars every single night? Where are your campers sleeping? Um, what else? What other activities are they doing? Are they doing archery? Are they outside with a bow and arrow? Are they sitting in creative writing activities? Do they need a space to do that? Or can they just do that on the field? So these are all the questions that I need you all to be thinking about. And I'll make the list pretty easy. Things you should definitely answer before you start. What is your setting? Where are you gonna be? What activities do your campers do during the day in your dream camp? And what type of camp is this? Is this an outdoor, like education camp where kids are coming and they're learning about hiking and fishing and rowboating? Or is this a camp that's a little bit focused on an activity? Is it a sewing camp or a sports camp? Sorry, there are so many bugs around me. I'm like swatting at them. Uh, 
sports camp? Is it a music camp like the one that I went to? So what type of camp is this? Um, the camp that I'm gonna create today is going to be an outdoors camp. It's one that's a little bit more similar to Camp Morty or another camp that you might have been to. Uh, the kids are definitely going to be swimming in lakes at my camp. They are gonna be eating in a dining hall. I think all of the kids in my camp are gonna stay in a tent. So we're gonna have a few tents set up. You can build your cabins or build your yurts however you want. Um, but these are some things we're thinking about throughout this activity. So let me show you how we're gonna start. So the most important part of this activity is that we're not making a drawing. A diorama is a 3D model of a scene. Um, so what we are doing today is adding as many 3D features into this as we can. 3D, if that's not a term that's familiar for you, means three-dimensional, and that's like something that is like popping out or it's in real life. For example, I just folded this piece of paper in a way that a tent is now popping out of it, right? You see my little tent? Now, this is a 3D tent. This is a model. I'm not gonna use it for my actual project. But So if I were to glue these sides here, it's a three-dimensional tent. It's popping out of the page. It's not a drawing of a tent. So what we're doing today is building things up so that they're popping out of the page as much as we can. I'll show you what that's gonna look like in just a second. This sun has so much glare. I'll fix that. Okay, I rotated my camera a little, so hopefully that tree there will catch the sun as much as possible. Maybe my head will do it. Maybe we'll just have to ignore it a little bit. Wow, it really, it doesn't go away. Okay, so we're just gonna move forward. Um, what you're going to start with is your green piece of paper. My camp is an outdoor camp, that's why I'm using green. If your camp is not an outdoor camp and maybe it's on an island in the middle of the ocean, you might want to start with your blue because this is going to be the bottom of our whole scene. So for me, since I want the grass to be the bottom, I'm going to use green. If you want the water to be, if you want water to be the bottom, then um, you'd want to use blue. Or if you're going to draw a building or something, maybe you want to use white. Um, but you could also put buildings into this. You know, there's usually green around you somewhere, right? So I'm starting with green, and this is going to be my land. So this is my landscape and I'm gonna build a 3D world coming out of it here. Let me show you how that's done. Okay, so the first thing that I had said is that in my outdoor camp, I am going to put a lake because I want my campers to be able to swim. So I'm going to just cut a lake out of this blue piece of paper and it can be any shape you want. If it's a lake, if it's a pool, maybe it's a square pool or maybe it's an even like a very special pool that's like heart shaped. Um, but I'm gonna cut out a body of water first. And you totally don't need to do that, but if you want to add a body of water, by all means, I'm putting a lake and I'm gonna just glue my lake into the corner of my paper. So my lake is gonna be right here and I'm just using some Elmer's glue. You could use any type of glue. It could be white glue, it could be stick glue. Even tape would work for this. Um, and when I use glue, I put the littlest bit of glue. There's the amount of glue I used. Very little, I didn't like squeeze it all out everywhere because then it takes so long to dry. And I have a lot of patience, but I also really wanna make art today. So I just went ahead and glued that onto my page right there. Now I know what you're thinking. Lindsay, this is not three-dimensional. This is not popping out of the page at all. When I hold it like this, you can't even really see it. I know, we're getting there. So the lake is not going to be three-dimensional. I decided that it wouldn't be. It's easier to just put it like this, but our next step is going to be three-dimensional. I care a lot about my camper's safety at this camp, and something that I think is really important for safety is that when there's a body of water, there are lifeguards to watch that body of water. So that my campers always have a lifeguard around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a lifeguard chair on this piece of paper. And I'm gonna cut it out and glue it right on. Give me just a second to do that. Okay, I wanna show you step-by-step step how I'm making this lifeguard chair because it definitely is a little bit more challenging than I originally imagined. But I practiced a few times and I think I got it. So I'm picking up my white piece of paper and I'm going to cut out a rectangle from the page. I cut out one about this size. You can see it compared to the paper here. I just took 
a rectangle from the corner. You can make it a little bigger if you want, a little smaller. It decides on, depends on the size of your chair. For me, this one's perfect. And then what I did is I took maybe a third of it and I folded it down like hamburger style. So you'll notice mine is not perfectly cut. That's okay. Nothing about this is about perfection. It's about designing our camps. So, so the way we're making this three-dimensional is that once you make that fold and it's kind of sticking out like this, you flip it over and then you stand it on the piece of paper like so. When we glue that bottom part, this is gonna totally stand up. So what I'm going to do right now is create a chair that stands like this so that it is a three-dimensional chair. Watch, we got this. So I'm going to first picture a chair. It needs to go up for the leg, but then go over for a seat and then up for the back, right? So I'm gonna kind of make that shape. This is the bottom. So the legs are like that. I'm gonna fold it one more time over and then another time like that. So what I've done is made these folds. So it goes one, two, three, four. So then when I stand it up like this, what we have is a chair. See, it's like a little bench. So for your craft, if you want a bench, this is a bench. All I've done, I'm gonna undo it all. I took my piece of paper, I folded one piece here like this, and then I put one more fold in it, and then did one final fold. So I folded it one, two, three times, and then when I popped it all out, I know that this is my bottom, so that's gonna stay. This is the leg. I want the seat to go back, and then we have our bench. But I'm turning mine into a lifeguard chair to keep my legs safe. So what I'm going to do now is cut a little piece down here. You can see I made these two little cuts. So I'm creating some legs for my chair. The other alternative, you could either one, have your lifeguard sit on a bench, um, if you only wanna go as far as we just did, or you could just draw a chair on that first shape that we had, and then you'd have a whole lifeguard chair right there. There's an ant crawling up my leg. Go away, ants, I'm busy. We're building a camp. Okay, so I cut out a piece of it. I'm gonna cut this all the way up to where the seat bends. There's another ant. There's so many ants outside today. Okay, so I'm cutting this up and I'm cutting over and like that. So what I have here now is I'm gonna make this a little more narrow, cut the sides off, cut this, a lot of cutting. Okay, happened. so basically after all of that, what I've created is a chair. And I'm just going to glue it down to my leg here, so that the lifeguards, ah, it's hard to see, so that the lifeguards can watch over our lake. So I'm gonna glue this bottom piece because the bottom piece is what's gonna let this chair stand. And I need to fold this a little bit more too so it actually stays. Yeah, so I'm gonna glue this bottom piece here and then the actual chair will just sit like this. Before I glue, I'm gonna color though because it's gonna be hard to color once there's glue down. So um, because of the lifeguard chair, I'm going to color it red because when I think of lifeguards, I think of the color red. And I think I'm gonna put a little lifeguard cross into it as well. Give me just a second. Okay, so I've colored it red. You can see my little chair here. And that definitely made it look a little bit more like a lifeguard chair. I'm not coloring the other side. I'm just gonna color one side because my diorama is going to be something that you can only look at from one angle. So here's my little 3D chair that we've created. Now I'm gonna glue it down. Ta-da! It's hard to see with that light. There you go. So now you can see my lifeguard chair. 
glued down to my lake. You can see that it's three dimensional. This little white part here is what's, ah, it's so bright. This little white part here is what's holding it down. So I glued the white part and then the actual chair stands up like that. Like I said, that could also be a bench. It could really be anything. Um, but that's the basis for any three dimensional thing. You just have that one piece that you're gonna glue down and then the rest stands right up. So we're gonna move on to our next thing now. Okay, so you'll remember that in the beginning of this video, I said that the kids were going to be living in tents and that was going to be kind of the sleeping situation for all the campers and counselors. So I've cut a piece of white paper out here to create some tents. And all I'm gonna do for my tents, I cut off a little rectangle. And when I think of tents, they are definitely folded, right? And then because this is three dimensional, I'm not going to be able to put glue like right on the sides there. It would be really hard to make it stay. So I'm actually just gonna fold the ends just a little bit. I don't need a huge folded part, but I need enough so that I can glue this part here down. So the glue's actually gonna go on this part of the paper and that will hold the whole tent down. So I'm gonna do that on both sides so that the tent isn't lopsided. And now, wah! Well, if there's not wind, it stands just like that. So I'm going to make a few of those. All of my paper is blowing away right now. I'm gonna make a few of those and then I'm going to color them before I glue them to my page. And then I'm gonna glue them to my page. The reason I'm coloring before is because with white paper, it's going to be very hard to color it once I'm trying to let the glue dry. So I'm coloring it first and then gluing it down. So I'll see you in a minute. I guess if your ideal camp is virtual camp, which is like very awesome, virtual camp is very cool. You could also be like making a computer scene right now. Like I'm coloring all these tents, but I'm picturing like making a keyboard and putting all the counselors inside little YouTube videos. That would be a very funny way to make a camp diorama if you made a virtual camp camp diorama. If you guys make those, I'd really love to see it. I'd love to see all of these camp dioramas. Right now what I'm still doing is coloring in some tents. I have the purple one done and it's gonna be a little bit more tent-like when I glue it. It'll sit like this. And I'm coloring an orange one now. I'm gonna do two more. I don't know what colors yet. Maybe red. I know I just used red for the chair, but red for this would be nice too. This project is really like a you do you type of project. However, I am doing it too. And if you feel lost for what you should be doing, you could also just hang out with me and make some tents <laughs> or like follow along. The next part of this, after we finish adding some basics, like I'm gonna finish these tents and I'm gonna finish some other things, some of the activities that my campers will be doing. The next part after all of that is going to be adding in some, um, I'm sorry, I just got so distracted. If you look very closely, here is my dog. She's up, she's coming closer. There's my dog. That's Maggie. She's just discovered that I'm filming a video. Hi, Maggie. She is not interested in the video. It's okay, Maggie, you can live in my camp diorama. It'll be you and me and all the campers. The campers might be making virtual dioramas though. So what I was trying to say before Maggie cut me off is that the next part of this activity, we're going to be finding some recycled materials around the house and adding those to our dioramas too. So finish your tents or wherever your campers are living. And then maybe we're gonna make a field for some campers to play in or an archery setup. Think of some of the things the campers are gonna do at our camp. And then we're gonna go on a recycling mission to find just two or three things that we can add to our diorama. Okay, see you soon. Okay, so what you can see in my campground right now is I have a lake with a lifeguard chair for our lifeguard to keep everyone safe. And I have four tents that I have created for all of the campers to sleep in. So what else do I need? I need a place for the campers to eat. 
and I need some activities for the campers to do. So first I'm going to build my dining hall. For my dining hall, I'm going to use my brown construction paper, which for me is this recycled paper, um, to create the building that my campers are gonna eat in. So Okay, so what I've decided to do is use this blue construction paper as a base, and I've made like a little structure here, and I'm gonna take all of this brown paper stuff and I'm gonna somehow wrap it around this. And my dining hall is gonna go right around here near the lake and the tents. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second. So I've now built this dining hall, which still has some glue that's drying. Um, you can see the glue there. And that is a pretty basic format for my campsite. The next thing I'm going to add, because this is a camp that is taking place in nature, is a little bit of nature. I want to put in some trees to build this place up because we're located inside a forest. And this right now looks a little bit like a field. So now I'm going to design my forest. So when I started working on my trees, I first tried making a very tall tree. So there is my trunk and there's the rest of the tree. Um, and what I learned is that it doesn't stand up very well, it falls down because the top is a little too heavy. So I went ahead and transformed one of my trees into a little bush, and that one should stand up just fine. And um, I think I'm just gonna make little bushes instead of big tall trees, because these are pretty tough to get to stand up. Now if I really, really wanted tall trees, I could always tape a stick to the back, or like an, an old pencil or something like that to help it stand. But for today, I'm just gonna stick to bushes. You all can do whatever you want. Okay, so the next part of this activity, now that we have our dioramas basically done and our dream camps are mapped out, I'm going to challenge you to find two, maybe three recycled materials that you can incorporate into your project. I've already incorporated one. Um, recycling is really important and these camps would not exist without recycling. So we need to make sure that recycling is part of this project. So, a recyclable object that you might include would be maybe a bottle or a bottle cap, maybe some newspaper or paper that you would otherwise recycle, maybe a can, maybe a Gatorade cap, um, like the toilet paper rolls. So get creative, look through some of the stuff that you have in your house that would otherwise go into the recycling and see if you can make art out of it. Okay, so here is my camp diorama so far. We are definitely still working on it, but we have our tents in the back. We have our beachfront right here with our lifeguard chair to keep everyone safe. Here is the dining hall. This one needs a little bit of work still. And we have our trees here which are propped up in the back to help keep them standing. Okay, I'm sure yours are all looking just as incredible as this one is with five times the creativity. Now remember, our challenge is that we are incorporating two or three recycled items and I incorporated one type here so for the next part I'm going to do two more recycled items to finish up my campsite. Okay. To incorporate my recycled items I decided to go into my recycling bin and just fill a bag of stuff and bring it out here to show all of you. So what I have right here is a bag of recyclable Here's items. my recycling bag. I have some cans, I have a drink holder from like a McDonald's or something, Arizona. So I'm just going to go through all of this stuff and pull out the things that I think are going to help my camp out the most. Okay, so I have in front of me our final camp diagram. Let me give Welcome you a tour. To Pop Summer Camp. Pop Summer Camp is a summer camp for kids of all ages who want to learn about the environment. Here at the Eat, E, Eat Dining Hall, we share all of our meals and we run activities indoors on rainy days. We come over to the lake over here. We have our lifeguard chair and our beach all set up and ready to go. We plan on installing boats very soon. When you move over here, we're in the living section where all of our campers will have their tents set up, where they'll be hanging out with their counselors, playing games like Uno, and connect four and they will be right next to the forest where there are bushes with berries and trees with apples and we have a farm complete with a fence and some cows campers will visit the farm at least once if not twice every time they come to camp 
and that is three-dimensional diorama camp pop summer camp. Thank you all for joining me for this video. I hope you had a lot of fun creating your own dream camps and maybe these are camps that someday you'll want to open and be the camp director of. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun making my nature camp. I had fun finding ways to include some recyclables into it. Thank you all for accepting that challenge and stepping up to do it. I will see you all next time for the next creative activity that we do. So until then, have a nice day. Enjoy the weather. It is very hot outside and I'll see you soon. Bye all. Okay, so this is what I'm at so far. I just wanna give you a quick tour. This is from Pop-Tart Box. This summer camp is from a, a newspaper. The E here is actually a W and it's from, I don't know where it is now, here it is. Um, it's a type of burger. These cows and this fence, I took off of this great value salt container. And I have my um, brown paper over here that was also recyclable.